In February 2013, a award-winning photographer, Marco Grob, who is a big supporter of the UN Mine Action Services, UNMAS, visited South Sudan to take photos of the work UNMAS and other mine action non-government organizations were doing in the country. He took photographs in three different areas. In Ye, he photographed a female demining team, victims of mines in Juba and Ye, and Mundari cattle herders who travel in areas that may be contaminated by mines. The photos were handed over to UNMAS, which has been displaying them to create awareness of the danger landmines pose and the work of the UNMAS. This was the first public showing of their photos and was held at the French Institute of the University of Juba. The photos were displayed at several previous private functions. Sasha Logi, program officer for UNMA, says the plan to have more showings and eventually an auction. We're hoping to show it at uh, the, the German embassies having a, an opening, so hopefully we'll show it at that. And actually, once we've shown it, uh, we've finished showing it, we will um, have an auction. And the idea is to auction these photos to anybody who, who's interested in buying them and the proceeds of which would go towards um, a victim assistance, a landmine victim assistance association here in, in Juba. Despite the ongoing work of UNMAS, they tackle more than just landmines and come across more and more hazards every day. It's important to explain that it's not just landmines that the UN Mine Action Service clears. It is landmines, but it's also unexploded ordnance or UXO as they're known as. And UXO are basically any form of bomb that hasn't exploded. Um, so first of all, that is the problem that you find here in South Sudan. It's UXO and landmines. Marina Casanova of the French Institute said she was happy that the exhibit was being held at the Institute and that of the 115 students there, she has received a lot of good feedback about the pictures. They were really pleased to see this famous photographer pictures <laughs> here. So they were like quite impressed with the job and like I think they don't know much about the mining action so it's a good thing to raise awareness here. A native South Sudanese who also attended the exhibit was very vocal about what he saw. Uh, for a long time uh, people have been uh, in really in danger about, uh, about mines. Yeah. Actually I've known a couple of people that lost their limbs, kids that lost their legs, limbs. Some lost their lives just because of uh, mines. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing that uh, the war ended and uh, the UN is coming in to uh, help people in uh, uh, help the government in uh, getting rid of uh, a lot of these mines that are lying down there. This exhibition is just a small part of what UNMAS is doing to raise awareness of the danger of mines and UXOs as their work in the field continues. Every day they discover more and more hazards. Currently we know of 688 hazardous, hazardous areas. Now a hazardous area could be a, a, a minefield or it could be um, a form of UXO you know, that that's still hasn't been destroyed. Uh, that sounds like a high number. We've actually cleared over 7,000 since operations began 10 years ago, in the last 10 years. Um, and luckily that number, or thankfully that number, is, is slowly dropping. Marco Grob's mine action photos can be seen on Time Magazine's blog, Lightbox, and on www.unmas.org.